Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? It's me, Quunkin, and welcome back to episode 2 of my manager career mode. This is basically a journey career mode with my manager. I will be making so many decisions for my club, and I signed a one-year contract with New England Revolution. If you guys did miss the first episode, I will leave a link to the playlist in the description down below so you can check that out and see any episodes I did miss. But basically, if you did miss the first episode, I just went over the squad and I fixed up the starting 11 that I wanted. We played a friendly, we played pretty well, but we did draw that game. But we do still have two friendlies to play, so let's check out the schedule and see what awaits us in the future. Alright, so the first friendly of this episode is going to be versus Fulham. That should be a very intense game. Fulham used to be a decent team in the BPL, but they did regulate, and now we have to face Croton in the second friendly of today's episode. I am going to sim both these matches, but when we do sim those matches, after that, we are going to be playing our first league game of this season in the MLS, and it's going to be versus a tough rival, Houston Dynamo. So we have to start off the season on the right foot versus Houston Dynamo, but I do want to explain something. This career mode is going to be like AA9 skills career mode. So I'm going to be taking out one game per episode. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to take my time with this career mode. And I'm going to take out an episode every day. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that. I'm going to be taking out an episode every day of this series. But it's only going to be one game per episode. Because I need my full capacity to lead my team to victory. And I want to take it game by game. So let's get to the main menu. And let's see the squad that I choose to face Fulham in our first friendly. Alright, so this is a squad that will be facing Fulham for this first friendly. We're going to have Knighton in goal. He's our backup goalkeeper. We're going to have Olsen in the right back position. McCarthy and Goncalves in the center back position. Barnes on the left. And we're going to have Fangundes as the right mid. Tierney on the left mid position. Nugent as the cam. Dorman as a center defensive mid. Mullins and Charlie Davis up front as the two strikers. It is a 4-1-2-1-2. So I'm going to send the match right now. Let's see how we do. Not bad at all. We do draw the game 1-1 and I will take that draw because Fulham used to be a first division team and we drew against them 1-1 and this wasn't even the good squad I had. This was the second string squad that I have uh, mixed in with some first string players. So I will take this draw. We tie the game 1-1. Now let's move on to the second friendly and this is going to be versus Crotone and I don't know where this team's from but I did put my good starting 11 up front and this should be a game where we demolish this team so I'm going to advance right now and then I'm going to skip and see how we do. Alright so we do win the game 2-1, Castillon scores a goal, Alston scores a goal and we win the game 2-1, Castillon is injured so we're going to have to check up on our medical staff and see how long Castillon is going to be away for. This is not good at all. We already have bad news that Castillon is going to be out for five weeks. So I'm going to have to replace him in my striking position. I'm going to have to put in Charlie Davis. So I'm going to have to take him out of our squad. We're going to take out Castillon right here, put in Charlie Davis, and Castillon is going to go out and I'm going to put in Bongo in his spot. Jesus Christ, I, this is why I don't like simming matches, but Castillon is going to be out for five weeks because of an injury. Here we go, it's going to be the first game of the MLS season, and it's going to be versus Houston Dynamo. Let's see the squad that I choose to face Houston Dynamo in our first game of the league season. Alright, so I kept my starting 11, but since Castillon got injured, we're going to have Charlie Davis as a striker. But if you guys did forget the starting 11 that I did have, I'm going to go over it right now. We have Shuttleworth in goal, Goncalves and Suarez in the center back position, Pharrell and Alston in the full back positions. We're going to have Burnberry and Fangundes on the wings. In the midfield, we're going to have Rowe, Jones and Nugent, and we're going to have Charlie Davis as the only striker. But with that, let's get into the game versus Houston Dynamo. This is it. This is the start of our journey. Houston Dynamo versus New England Revolution. This should be a very good game and we need to start with the right foot. So getting a win would really help us out and it would really motivate our team and make us a little more confident. But we do have Jermaine Jones. He is the all-star signing of New England Revolution. He came from the Bundesliga, he came from Schalke and now he is in the MLS. So this should be a very, very good game versus Houston Dynamo. Let's check out the starting 11 that Houston Dynamo has for today's game. 
So they have a 4-4-2, they have Hall in goal, Davis on the left mid position, Barnes up front, and they have Beasley in the left back position. That guy used to play in the Mexican League, but now he moved on to the Houston Dynamo, and we already went over our starring 11. Let's get into the first game of the MLS season. So we're out, here's Jones. Beautiful job from Jones. He needs to be the base of our squad. That's a beautiful ball to Burnberry. Center it in. Who's there to finish it off? Oh, what a header. Damn, the defender got in the way. Oh, beautiful job. Rowe wins it. This is the young midfielder I want. That's a beautiful ball. It's open and wide. Burnberry is constantly making runs. That's a great ball to Charlie Davis. What kind of header was that? Great job. We are winning the ball. Our defenders are doing a great job. Come up. Pharrell is on it. Bunbury's on it. Beautiful job. Pharrell, can you make the run? Get to that. Oh, oh, the physical, the strength was too much. Goes out for a goal kick. Barnes has the ball. Beautiful job defensively, but we keep losing the ball. Dynamo still have possession of it. Oh, beautiful job. Jones. Great job, Jones win the ball. Can this lead to a counterattack? Yes, it can. Davis is on it. We leave it to Nugent. Nugent to Jermaine Jones. Beautiful job. Jermaine Jones back with the pass. What is going on? Jermaine Jones was going through and they call offside or something. What is going on? No, they give the fall. What is this? What is the ref calling? Our team was through on goal and he calls the fall. You got to be kidding me. There we go, Jermaine Jones passes it off to Rowe. Rowe back to Jermaine Jones. There's the left foot. Woo! That was so close. It just went wide. 25th minute, Jermaine Jones with the left foot. They keep the ball going. Bruin is on it. That's a great ball. Great interception from Goncalves. It is still nil-nil. There's Rowe. Rowe. Oh, that's a good slide tackle. Oh, that's a great center. The goalkeeper should get to that. What is going on? Oh my god, what a save from... Sh oh my god, Shuttleworth. What a save. We're on the counterattack now. Keep going. Keep going. Jermaine Jones, go. Jermaine, go. 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 Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Here's Rowe. Great job. Who can go in the middle? This is Jermaine Jones. He's been playing well so far. Don't lose the ball. Great physical there. Beautiful job. Jermaine Jones is in space. There is a shot. Oh my god, Jermaine Jones, he is getting so close, that was a great play there, Jesus Christ, it's still nil-nil, man, I really want to score before the second half comes, but it's still nil-nil, but I feel the goal coming, guys, I feel, I feel it coming. He's in Dynamo, there's a shot, oh my god, oh my god, that was, oh my god. I am speechless. That was a freaking beautiful goal. Clark. Jesus Christ. Right before the right before the half was over. This is what Clark comes up with. Jesus Christ, look at that shot. What was our goalkeeper doing? He could have got to that. Oh my god, we are down 1-0. But I have to admit, that was a great goal. When it looked like we were gonna be the team to go forward in this game. Houston Dynamo just hit us. We're losing 1-0. Guys, we go to halftime and we're losing 1-0. We have four shots, one on target, and I really think that we should be winning, but we just can't put our shots into the back of the net. We only had one on target, uh, and Houston Dynamo had two shots, two on target with one goal, and they have 51% possession. We have to get into the second half and really get into the game, at least tie things up. But realistically right now, I'm looking for the draw versus Houston Dynamo. A beautiful job from Jermaine Jones. Here's Fangundes. Great job. We open it up to Rowe. Rowe. Charlie Davis. Charlie Davis to Fangundes. That is a great ball. He keeps the ball in. What can Fangundes do? He falls. The defender falls. There is the pass. Great job from Rowe. Where is Jermaine Jones when you need him? There he is. Jermaine Jones, Charlie Davis, Charlie Davis, oh my god, great defending, but that is a free kick, give him a yellow card ref, I put Nugent to take the free kick, so here we go, they get a yellow card, they were moving their wall a little too close, so they get a yellow card, That we should take that to advantage, but Nugent is going to take the free kick, here we go, there's a free kick, is that too much power, no it is not, 
Mugen makes it 1-1, 52nd minute. That is how we do it. Mugen ties things up from a free kick. That was a beautiful free That was such a beautiful free kick. We tie things up. Thank God we tied things up early. A beautiful free kick from Mugen. Look at that. Jesus Christ, there was no way the goalie was going to get to that. We tied things up. 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's a great ball from Alston to Fangundes. Can Fangundes get to it? Yes, he can. There's a bit of skill. Get in the box, Charlie Davis. There's a... Oh, my God, the shot. The shot. Fangundes is too freaking good. Jesus Christ, we get the corner kick. There is the center. Can we get ahead on that? No, we cannot. There's a shot. Oh, my God, Fangundes. Ah, Fangundes is getting so close. 61st minute. Look at this. Fangundes with a spectacular shot. Great save from the keeper. Here we go once again. Lee Nugent with the center. Can we get ahead to that? Yes, we can. Another save. You got to be kidding me. What is that goalkeeper's name? I'm looking at my bench and I'm looking at the score. It is 1-1 in the 62nd minute. And I really want to put in Tierney as the left back because Alston, he goes up too much and I don't want to concede any more goals. I really want to score a goal, but I want to take my time. So we're going to put in Tierney for Alston, who's, who played very well, but I really want to put Tierney, who's a more defensive-minded defender. So with that, let's get back into the game. That's a great ball. That's a good center. No one's there for the header. Jesus Christ, that went over the bar. 69th minute, Houston Dynamo with another chance. And where is our defenders? They're not marking him correctly. Oh, that's a good play. He's gonna center it in. No, he goes for the shot. Great save from Shuttlesworth. He finally saves the shot. Great defense from Suarez. That's what we need. Get on the wing, Fangundes. We need you to work your magic. There we go. Charlie Davis is on it. He leaves it for Nugent. Keep going, Nugent. Nugent with the shot. What was that? What kind of shot was that, man? He went from scoring a beautiful free kick to shooting the ball that nasty. You got to be kidding me, man. All right, so it's the 83rd minute. I'm going to take out a uh, row and put in Dorman and I'm gonna move him to the defensive mid position I don't want to concede any more goals and I'm gonna put in Mbongo for Charlie Davis Charlie Davis is getting a little too tired so we're gonna put Mbongo up front as the lone striker hopefully with these changes we don't concede any goals and hopefully we can get a goal out of these substitutes but with that let's get back into the game here's Lee Nugan working once again here's Nugan Burnberry's on the wing Beautiful job from Burnberry. That's a great ball. Open it wide again. Here's Burnberry. There's a center. There's a header. Here is Imbongo. Can we get a goal off this? Jermaine Jones calls for it. Oh my god, he pulled a hamstring. He pulled a hammy. We need everyone to park the bus. This is how the game ends. We tied the game 1-1. Each of us scored one goal, but we had nine shots, five on target. Houston Dynamo had six shots, three on target, and Thank God that Lee Nugent made that goal because things were looking bad for us. We had a ton of shots, but we just couldn't get him on target. We get a free kick and Lee Nugent just smashes in back of the net. He ties things up. I felt that we were going to score our second goal with Mbongo, but he just fell short. And we do tie the game 1-1. Let's look at the match ratings for today's game. Yes, Lee Nugent gets the man of the match with an 8.1. What can we say? He scored the goal to tie the game and he had a ton of great passes. He was doing so much work in today's game. But another player that I want you guys to take a look at is Jermaine Jones and Fangundes who were playing so well together. Jermaine Jones was holding up that defensive mid spot so beautifully. And Fangundes, man, he was so freaking good on the wings. He did a bunch of dribbles to get past defenders. He did get some shots in, but none of them were on target. And if they were, the goalie would save him. So, Nugent deserves this man of the match. And I'm very happy with the result we get here in the away game versus Houston Dynamo.
All right, we advance a day, and our next game is going to be versus the Whitecaps. So that's going to be in the next episode. It's going to be versus the Whitecaps. That should be an easy game to win. But let's see how we're doing in the league table. So we are in fourth place in our league table. We have one point. We're right behind Houston Dynamo, DC United, and Philadelphia Unions. So I think we're starting off the season on the right foot. We tied versus a very hard team. But something that I forgot to tell you guys is that there are two conferences. There is the Eastern Conference and there is the Western Conference. And the teams that are highlighted one through five, those are the teams that go to the playoffs. And each team faces each other until they make it to the final and win it, the MLS Cup. So that is how it works in the MLS. That's how it works in the United States. It's very weird, but I think it's pretty different compared to other leagues. But this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you guys have any questions for me to answer, I will actually answer them in the next episode. So leave your questions down below. It could be about anything about the team, about the team we're facing. Please just leave your questions down below and I will make it into a type of a conference. So hopefully you guys do ask me some questions. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time.